All right, uh, so today I'm going to be doing a review on this mic I bought it at uh, Five Below. It's called the Sing Plus. It's It was seven bucks. Uh, it's pretty light. It's like the plastics. It's kind of, it's cheap plastic. I can, it, it flexes when you press on it. It's got, it's got a metal grill around the, uh, the, the mic itself, which actually comes off. I'll show that in a bit. A metal grill around the speaker, six buttons, which is the buttons are power, uh, fast forward, rewind, pause, slash play, uh, LEDs, you can actually turn these on, I forgot about that part, and vocal effects. And we'll get to what the vocal effects do in a second. Uh, and then you have volume, so volume, it turns the mic volume up. Um, and then there's, there's also Remix, which, Remix just, it's, it says Remix, but it's more, it's more of a reverb. Uh, so it's, I would recommend buying it, not, don't, don't buy it for studio purposes, but if you're gonna have like a karaoke night, buy it, go ahead, it's cheap, it's fun to mess around with, get it for your kids. But, uh, it's not exactly fun to use. And I'll get, I'll get into that in a second. So when I say it's not fun to use, uh, basically, I tried to record with this, like, plug it into a computer and record. Uh, it didn't work. I tried to use it with Audacity. I tried to use it with the camera app that's on my computer. It didn't work at all. Uh, I did the same with my phone. I hooked it up wirelessly to my phone. Didn't work. Plugged it into the audio jack on my computer. Didn't work. I even tried uh, using pause and play to record with the SD card. Which isn't in it right now. But I took it out. And then... there's a This is for charging. And then there's this USB. Which I have no idea what it does. Because it doesn't say in the instructions what it does. I tried, I tried that. I plugged that onto my computer. It didn't show up as a device. Nothing, uh, recording-wise. Uh, so if any of you figure it out, let me know in the comment section. But let's let's get into other functionalities other than just recording. So if you're gonna record, don't buy it. But if you just want to have a little fun, uh, m make your voice make your voice sound all reverbed and stuff. Go ahead, buy it. Buy it for your kids. It's only seven dollars, which isn't a lot compared to studio mics. If I could get this to work, it wouldn't be a bad purchase. Because studio mics are like anywhere from 70 bucks to 4,000. So here are the, inst the instructions I was talking about. Let me turn this off. Uh, so here are the instructions I'm talking about. Uh, it says Sing Plus on the, the front of the instructions. And then, it's wireless microphone instruction manual. And then a little thank you for purchasing, the same microphone. And then here is the little, like, diagram of how it works. Uh, so it says, like, I'll let you guys read that if it focuses. So, like, volume control, all, all of that, all that important stuff. So it basically shows you... What I just showed, only it doesn't say how to record. It says play pause, nothing about recording. And then the mode by pressing on the power button. So I, can, I guess I can change it, the mode. And then skip next song. Yeah, so it's, it's not very useful. At least this diagram isn't for figuring out how to record with it. It's it's wireless, by the way. It works. It, it's great as a speaker. Uh, you can cover the front up, and you can't hear it anymore. So I'll give an example real quick. So, so I got it powered back on. So for example, when I talk into it, you can hear pretty clearly the reverb. And then if I... How do I do this? So you can hear the reverb. Put my hand on it. You can no longer hear the reverb.
Oh, I'll get a little closer. So, uh, you can't see, but you can hear it. No, no, you can hear it still, but not as well, because it's really muffled. Uh, again, it's, the speaker's okay, honestly. It's not the worst I've ever heard, but it's not ideal for just general use in like a, how do I, in like a, a speaker that you'd put in a stereo system. So, effective for pretty much one purpose. They tried to outdo themselves with the recording part. I don't know how to record because they clearly didn't do a good job in the instructions. But yeah, let's let's open this top top up. Here you can see inside. Here's the mic. Just that's that's all that's inside. And then inside this part, there's just foam to not get spit in there. And like it's it's like a pop filter. So they they put a pop filter in it. So that's nice. Let's let's hear it without the without the cover. It sounds pretty a little kind of funny. Yeah, without the cover, it's really uh, it's really annoying and loud. I'll turn that off. But I I give someone an aneurysm. So it's it's definitely definitely keep the cover on <laughs> unless you want it to make a little funny you know a little funny noise but otherwise keep the cover on it because it's pop resistant it it protects the mic too like if you drop it this isn't gonna this isn't gonna end well if I drop that so I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up now since this is I, I do that a lot on this channel. So I'm going to open it up, and we'll see how it works. Uh, it's not going to be a too in-depth video on how it works, but it'll be still useful. Alright, screws have been removed. So, inside, what do we have? It's a tiny circuit board, as I expected. Literally, it's super simple. There's nothing to it. The speaker, honestly, the speaker's not really that bad. Just by looking at it, I can't really tell without running tests on it, but looking at it, honestly, it looks fine. It looks like a pretty average speaker, actually above average for five below stuff. This battery, just your everyday 3.7 volt. I have a ton of these and just about everything like RC cars and stuff. Wiring, there's it not, it's not really stuck anywhere inside. Not that you're going to be opening it up and looking, so it doesn't really, that part doesn't matter very much. The battery fits in here, and then it closes like that. Microphone. From what I can tell, this is an okay microphone. It's pretty, it's not exactly, I wouldn't call it high quality, but it's not as, it's not as low quality as you would think it would be inside something from part below. So... Overall, electronic wise, I would give it a good rating. I would give it, I'm gonna have to say three stars electronic wise. This entire half, there's nothing in this. There's no speaker, not even a counterweight. So it is, and it's not noticeable at all when you hold it. Slightly, like if, if, if I stand this up and it falls, it's always gonna fall in this direction because it's heavier on this side. But like when you hold it, you don't notice. But it does make it harder to stand up if you try to stand it up. I mean, it's unscrewed right now, but still, it's not its not meant to stand up anyways. If you're going to stand up, you'd have to get, like, a stand for it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how these, how, how the internals work. I had a similar one one time. It, it looked kind of like this, but there was a box up here instead. That's, I mean, they're all pretty much, they're all the same chips and, like, all the same components and stuff. It's all, it's all the same, just in different shapes and on different boards and stuff. Uh, let's take the circuit board out and flip it over, though. And I'll see you guys, I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so I can't completely remove it from its housing because there is the the, L the LED ring, and I don't want to cut these wires. I mean, I could re-solder it and stuff. I don't feel like that. Um, I have a lot of these little speakers. I realize I should make a project with that sometimes. Comment down below. Would you like if I had a a project with a bunch of these little speakers? Since I have a decent amount of them. Um, back to the back to the video though. So, I can't move it completely from the housing, because the LED bar right here, or whatever you want to call it. Flipping over the circuit board, there's mostly, there's actually not that many chips over here. There's just six buttons, as you'd expect, uh, two switches, and a, an SD card loader, and the, the charging port. And then on the other side, again, you have USB and aux. And then a small little, a small little crystal oscillator, another IC. It's nothing, nothing crazy, nothing miraculous. Uh, the LEDs, they are, they do have, if you can see, there's three wires here. Because they're like, I don't, I don't know what you'd call them, not smart LEDs, but like, controllable, I guess. And then we already went over the microphone. Yeah, it's pretty simple. There's there's not a lot to this device, which is perfectly fine. Um, complicated doesn't always mean it's better. But yeah. Uh, also, another thing before this video ends. You can, uh, apparently, I looked this up today. You can turn speakers into microphones. Like you could be able to talk into the speaker. And I would output a noise. Would you guys be interested in seeing that on a video? Uh, comment down below if you'd like to see that. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the, uh, the next one.